Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Against the Storm. Early access build. There's one. No, can you see it? Probably. <laughs> you should. Uh, anyway, last time we uh, did a tutorial, so this time we actually want to do a, f a real fight here. So there's a few things. There's Fertile Grounds modifier and a Royal Outpost. So this is gives you more choices, this gives you more fertile soil. Tempted to head over in this general direction. Maybe we can loop around it over here. The further you get, the more difficult it gets, by the way. That's something to keep in mind. Um, so do we want Royal Woodlands or Coral Forest? Hmm. Coral Forest is kind of interesting. Because uh, pretty much depending on the biome you pick, you get different types of stuff on your trees. Like if you look here, you'll get summary, uh, no, modifiers. Trees contain wood, naturally. Then fiber, fiber is pretty normal as well. And then meat, crystallized dew, stone, and incense, which definitely are not normal. <laughs> well, this Roy Woodlands gives you general just big bonus to wood. So you have wood, and you have, an, I think, every tree drops an extra piece of wood, basically. I think it says here so as well. Hmm. No, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, and, uh, resin, plant fiber, and eggs. So, these are way less exclusive than crystallized dew and incense in, in particular here. Well, meat in some way as well, because you can't get that normally with the base buildings you have. You need to have a building for it specifically to gather meat. Stone, you can gather with um, Stonecutter's Camp. So. Um, and we have the option here to start with humans. Do we have that option here too? Yeah. So the caravans seem to be the same. Interesting. Let's start with some pickled goods. I think this this start is fine. Let's let's do the coral forest to start with here. So we'll pick this up. We'll go for uh, not locked, but we'll take viceroy. Basically, what this does is it. Can I? I can't point at stuff here, but yeah. You have four negative effects, one positive. You can see that here. Rather than here with Settler, you have two positive and one negative only. Pioneer is two, three. Veteran is already one, four. Viceroy is also one, four. But at most, uh, well, you get less embark embarkation point. We only have one, so you can just pick one thing up here. And um, uh, times three hostility multiplier, which is really big. I mean, Settler, which we played in tutorial at this times one, so you can only get max six hostility. That might even mean that some of these effects you can't even even get. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, we will go for Iceroy. Uh We'll pick up a little bit of wood. Uh, that's the thing I care about most. You only, you only start with ten. That's not enough. Uh, not a lot. Start with twenty stone. Two of these. This starts with 10 villagers, so we start with 9 rather than 10. It's 8 plus 2 Nico newcomers at start right here. So I think I like this, this a little bit better. Because you cannot control what these newcomers are. So it could be that you get like harpies and beavers. So you don't have the humans and you cannot really use the fertile soil. Although, I do say that, but we don't even have harpies yet unlocked. So <laughs> I guess it's no danger then. It will be m even more danger well, not dangerous. Difficult if you get to uh, make that thing there. So yeah, I think this the length changes as well, right? Yeah, you only need 12 reputation at Settler, 14 at Vice, right? You get a lot more though, as you can see here, 16 and 30 versus 88 and 135. Really curious how this works. I'm not gonna lie, uh, I've played Viceroy or higher difficulties which you unlock after you beat it once, but um, that's with some bonuses. We basically have no bonuses, we just have wood. Don't have any starting buildings, nothing to help us there. So uh, let's let's get going. Let's see what we got. So, okay, so fertile ground, so ex uh, increased chance of fertile soil. There's, uh, yeah, each tree provides different bonus resources and it's bank pressure. So the more uh, you have a chance on bonus yield, the higher your hostility is. So this is actually really beneficial at high difficulties. Okay, so let's see. <coughs> Two amber every time you sell goods worth ten amber. So trading seems to be good. Well, this is always there. Let's see what this is. Resolve drops one hundred percent faster. So you can't really do juggling during the storm. Fine. 
global food production is slower at three and you need f on the vessel tax okay that's uh that's a bit annoying so five amber per year if you had three and it says at the start of uh, the storm. Well, it doesn't say here, but the summit summit says at the start of the storm. That's a lie. If you get to hostility three during the storm, it will activate. So <laughs> don't uh, don't be smart as like I try to be. It's like okay, let's just take all wood cutters off, hit the storm, and there you go. But no, that's not how it works. <laughs> anyway, that's one charge rain. So five percent chance to die every fifteen seconds, which is pretty big. We need complex food and services, which is also pretty big. That means immediately, oh, we don't have this yet. We need level three. So I was considering just turning off the pickled goods right away so they can't use it. I'm such a tyrant. So yeah, you can see the coral forest. That that would help, by the way, with um, using, uh, you could use this during the storm for an extra resolve. It takes up like five to 10, I think, during a storm maybe. And then you get, don't have to worry about resolve for this for a moment. Oh wait, you can see the different types of trees. There's three different types. There's just the regular green trees here, which just give plant of fiber, and there's this these like spiny ones here, which oh maybe no, there's four. There you go, muscle sprout, which is give a chance to get meat and crystallized dew. And then you have these red ones, which give a chance of stone incense. I thought these were different as well. Oh no, these are the muscle sprouts. Oh no, they, yeah, they are. Okay, good. So there's three three like distinct. Uh, types here, so you can actually selectively go for it. Like if you, you really want meat, we'll go clear this way. If you really want some uh, some incense and stone, we'll go there down there. But uh, plant fibers also, of course, important. So okay, well, yeah, 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 that's fine. Get out of here. So we have a blueprint to choose here. I'm just gonna check if there's a farm building here. There is not. Trappers camp is interest. Oh no, there is here. There's the herb garden. So we'll probably pick that up. Do we need to think about this? I don't think so. We have already we have eggs, we don't have meat. I don't think. Um you can check here what's in this biome. So there is no natural meat. Which means that there are, you can only get insects here. So the trappers camp is a little bit of waste. You can't even get uh there's no berries on this map either or mushrooms, so herbalist camps really useless so this this is gonna be this anyway okay so we have some jerky ability here um, humans like jerky I think biscuits would be very good for complex food need if you want to do this I mean the services is uh, something else it's probably gonna be the if we use these leisure but we don't know what else we get and I don't think there's a lot of choice I think I'll wait a little bit I'll hold off a little bit for this I mean, packs of provisions is interesting for this. This works for trade routes as well. Okay, if we had trade routes, <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> All right, so we just uh, build a little bit of infrastructure here. I'm gonna start with uh, woodcutters, and I think we probably want to bust open some of the small glades. I'm gonna we're gonna make gonna make two to start with. So we have the beaver in here, slower fuel consumption. It means that we have more wood and uh, coal available. At some, uh, basically, um, we have beaver. So I'm actually gonna turn off the coal. Yeah, let's do that because it uh, can be used for some of these events. Which well, wood is well, it's wood. Can't use it for that. And that's why uh, well, coal is interesting. Uh, flour can be used. Can you re use roots for flowers? Why is that relevant? We got this one, which produces roots. Produces roots. So flour could be made, and then you can work your way towards biscuits. Uh, barrels, crystallized dew is available on this map, so also worth it. Of course, coal bricks. Stone is also available. Wood is also available. And smokehouse, mm, probably not the best way. We need you need insects or meat, and none of these are. Well, insects can be on the map as a gathering point, but otherwise, no. Pottery and incense is uh, meh. Incense even drops from trees. So. Makes a religion need also possible. Hmm. We'll think about it. Anyway, let's uh, get going.
Right, so one wood lasts 18 seconds. We we'll use this one for now. Um, if you're a human, you slow your uh, impatience growth, but at this level, I don't think it's that relevant. Okay, we're gonna not care about. It. We, we we need to clear up to the glades ASAP. That's what we're gonna do. We're also gonna start with a. Uh, do we want to start scavenging right away? I'm not sure. Actually, that's a good enough reason why I want a human in there. I want be beavers to cut, be cutting wood here. Right, so that's one hostility. Let's go. So, we have a rain collector as well, which allows us to get our star dew, but I'm not sure if I need that. I kind of want a workstation here for starters. Okay, cornerstone, let's see what we get. Uh, one instance. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna go spices. Herb and root production really works well with. Uh, so that's for every flower produced, was it? No, biscuits. Yeah, right. So we definitely need to really fish for the biscuits here. Okay, we didn't get it. But we have the planks of fabric here. I generally think the planks are best. Especially since we have beavers already. Weavers, we don't even we don't have some we don't have we never have harpies because they're not available yet. Brickyard interesting as well, but I think we'll pick the lumber camp as our last one here. So now we have flour and now we can work towards biscuits, which works towards our complex needs. So yeah, it's uh, it's all good. It's already sad because this the the city is so hostile. Okay. So if one of these, we can put one on here. I tend to put it at like 10, 6, 6, uh, 12, 6, 6 here. You can use anything you find. Use stone. Have fun. Alright. And this, maybe this last guy. We, we have plenty of wood. I'm just going to start the shelters already. Just uh, for the extra happiness here. I'm going to make a little skeleton here. Okay, so orders, let's see what we got. Two glades, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, good salt. I think the glade events is a good buff, so we're gonna pick that up. Uh, two glade events. I'll use five tools for some tools. No, we'll, we, we gotta have the tools and spend them. Um, this gives us parts. I think this, this works generally well. We're also already working on building materials and the lumber mill has a building. Oh no, trade goods. Okay, never mind. Scrap all that. Okay, yeah, we're gonna make a little bit of a scan of road here. Let's see what we got. Okay, if we do have cash here. Otherwise, it's uninspiring what we find there. You can move on to the next one immediately. I need to, uh, I want to get some fertile soil. Alright, so far so good. We can move at three three speed now. Finally. Okay, yes, fertile soil. In uh, the f there's a biome where you can actually see already if there's gonna be fertile soil or not. <laughs> the thing about fertile soil though is um you cannot use it prior uh, in the uh, clearance season so keep that in mind you have to uh, wait with using it if you put uh, humans in here already they'll just uh, not do anything which is a total waste okay all right so I got all the fields so I think yeah, the rest is no fields anymore, so you can stop working here. Help uh, these guys out. Also, let's make a path here. Oh, well, not quite. I need to take these trees out so I can get a nice road down there. Okay, so clearance season. Nothing has been planted here, so I'll, I'll reiterate. There's no point putting humans on here yet. They can only, during the storm, start fertilizing this. 
Okay, so with this, the housing housing thing is done with three houses. Okay, so here's two planks here. Okay, that's coal here. Don't think I have the mine yet, do I? No. So this is uh, absolutely useless. Um. I think I like the idea of, of getting this uh, like one more glade open before the year, year runs around. Also, just to fish for some more fertile ground, really. Yeah, as, I can s as I said, sometimes you can see if there's going to be fertile ground at the base of the trees. Like here. Right? No, 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 not really. It doesn't show up really well in this biome, but in the Forsaken biome, you can actually see where there's going to be fertile soil. Which is a little bit of a, a, bit of a hack. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to also move our roads down here. I'll deactivate you. Why are you cutting this tree down? No, that's fine. Alright, so we have already some crates here, let's see what's in there. This is pretty bad, this is fine. Okay. This is 8 amber already, so it's almost worth more than this. Not yet though, it needs, uh, needs a bit more than that. <laughs> okay, so our stone is pretty much out, that's okay. Okay, so that's the fourth glade done. We have some insects here, fine much we can do here all right now you're gonna move over here you're gonna move over here you can avoid open glades but you can start working on here good all right so i think we want is a training post okay let's see happiness should be fine we can just keep cutting at our rate right now so yeah, we can pick that up. We can uh, deliver that one. Okay, this one is prioritized. If you hit shift, hit this, all the farm fields are going to be prioritized. So he's going to work on. He's going to do farm fields first. She's almost done. So she can start actually gathering food because we don't have anyone on gathering food at the moment. So we're going to use a scavenger camp. We have a lot of eggs. And uh, I'm gonna do this one here first. Let's put him here. So now we could put a human in here to plow it. Uh, but I kinda wanna do it with the new wave of humans, I think. Well, you can stop. You go st start there. Once this one is done with the fields, I'll. Uh, have fun, you're also working there now. Right, so we have a blueprint. Oh yeah, we've, of course we've got uh, one rotation here. Um, okay, so we have more fields here. Is that okay? Do we want this? I mean, this is a plantation is a is a two star berries one, but I don't think so. We uh, really want to work on the roots here. So none of these are really appealing to me, really. I'll uh, just hold on to it until we uh, open more glades, see what, what uh, what's down there. So yeah, we got some meat out of that. Thank you. I'm gonna move, keep moving the things closer to the forest edge, really. Okay, so we have clearance. Let's see. Trading unavailable. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> this one's pretty good. This one. We don't have the trade routes yet, so it's less impactful, but we have this one and we have the tax. So we really need to get some amber some way. We can do that with trading. We can also do it with uh, opening caches, but I don't think uh, we'll take the global production here. Okay, so we have two lizards or three humans. Definitely want three humans, I think. So I plan to do farming economy here. Okay, you can also, no, not yet. Before anything, we need a trading post built. 
I'm gonna put training post in a very stupid place, like over here. Why? It doesn't need a road connection, it doesn't need warehouse access. It doesn't need to be worked, so just put it somewhere outside of this range. And far away from the storage, because it doesn't really matter. Okay. So the question is, do we think... I probably should prioritize this up a little bit. Mm, I think we can open the glade. If you hold shift while turning this off, it turns off all the set the settings in all the camps, so let's go. Okay, this needs incense, oil, full okay, fine. Don't have any of that. What's the easy ones easiest to get? Not sure, but I'm pretty sure we get a trader right away if we do this. Yeah, 38 seconds. That's fine. How long do we have for this? Five minutes. Three incense for every time. Oh. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a pretty good uh, perk uh, with our root, with it intention to produce roots. As a matter of fact, that's important enough that we. Sh well, no, wait, this also boosts herb production. Yeah, herb and root production, so we can keep both of them on. Okay, let me think about this for a bit. Um. Okay, you can continue avoiding opening glades, and that's, uh... If you gather the stone wood, you continue the, uh... Taking some of the meat out of all these trees. We have two big caches as well, fabric production in this one. Just resources. Wine might be useful here, but... Eleven seconds. I think this guy sells oil. So Oh he doesn't. Oh he's screwed. <laughs> Facts of production. Hmm. I know I think they don't have a kiln or anything, so I don't know these are really I think this one is, is easiest to get, so we'll take that. This gives us the ta yes. Yes. Don't we don't wait make rain, so this is fine. We'll take this one. Gives us pickled goods as well, by the way, but ill and the tavern for free basically. I'll take that. Kinda need training gear if you don't want other guys to die. But um this is not good. Because scrolls oil is not sold here. He doesn't even sell uh, tools. Mm. I think we can have a way to create into this. I mean, the incense trees are these ones here, but it's uh, it's it's way too little for thirty to be able to get thirty here. I think we're gonna lose. Uh, Okay, this is not, not that bad, actually. All amber is lost, which we have none of. Is there anything in here? Small farm, don't really care. Pottery production, don't really care. But we probably care a little bit about food. We can uh, sacrifice, like... Two of these for some, for some eggs, maybe. Our food is going to be low for, for a while, so... That's not a lot of eggs, is it? <laughs> Probably not worth it then. You're useless, Zorg. Get out of here. Okay. Two humans in this. Uh, we also need to start working on some, well, an extra shelter for one. Uh, right. Yeah, just one shelter here. And then we need some stones to be, be gathered here. So a stone cutter camp. This hits all of them. Kind of want to put the road the way to the uh, stone cutters as low as uh, short as possible. So okay, we're gonna hit get one of hit by one of these. But as I said, we don't have any wine. We don't have any, any of the other stuff. So it doesn't really matter. What we do also want is the lumber mill, which fits here fine. 
Could mm. be protease this a little bit. No, nah, well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so all our herbs and roots have grown. Very nice. Do we want to call her 11 minutes? Probably do. Take a little hit there, but uh, we need to get this Glady Fence solved at some point. So we can get us some food. Actually, wood is not even that important. Uh, you don't sell oil either, but you sell tools. So we could get six tools from you. We will sell one of these. And three of these. And then, I don't know, some more of this wood maybe. A lot of them now. So sell one more of you then. you add and I don't want to grab anything that's uh, I don't want to grab amber what else do you have global food production interesting but let's take mushrooms because we can't get them here like exclusive meal here two mushrooms uh, wait do we need six or ten I thought it was six but maybe it's six infused that's twelve don't even have that okay no these give it either so uh, Guess uh, <laughs> with it's still not good enough, <laughs> and it's not even drizzle season, right? So we do, don't even get this. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Do we want to grab the ten anyway? Probably. Oh, I don't think we can. We can if we spend like almost all of our parts. So we have five parts left. No, we do six parts. Okay, yeah, that is fine. This means that we can't that we can't make new hearts. Could be a problem. Could not be, but uh, we need we need to start getting these tools here. And we have insect camps now, so yeah, of course we can pick them. Nice. Yeah, you work a little bit your way up to the red ones. Yeah, it doesn't sell, no, it doesn't sell scrolls and everything. We can make scrolls now, but dirty scrolls requires wine or pigments, which we don't have. Can turn this off by the way. We're we gonna call another trader. I don't think so. I think we'll wait the next one out. We'll take this hit, and then next uh, storm wall we'll think about uh, something else. It lowers the hostility a little bit, so it's not all bad. I don't think hitting the impatient is kind of hard. I think we'll be fine. Um, actually, want to have one guy. Um, yeah. Plank production here. I'm gonna actually put a. Can we do a global limits? Yes, we can. So we'll uh, let's say we'll we won't want max forty. We go. Turn planks off in this one. And in the meanwhile, the one that the build the one builder we have can uh, create a little bit of a path here. It's a shame we get all this coal, which we can literally not use. Like, one check. Uh, it is what only gets us herbs access, so I don't think that's worth it. Maybe the extra, we'll, we'll, we'll take one of these things. I'm just... Like, which? I mean, I, I don't want to use... I, I probably don't want to use it, but... This just doesn't do anything. Like herbs, it's whatever. I'll, I'll take one of these. Um. So what do we also need? 
who's starting to get blight rot now. Blight rot is a uh, basically from Fisery One and onwards, you get this uh, mechanic that's called blight blight rot, and it's the more you build, the more you build. Uh, like this is a very this is a small footprint, but the higher the footprint, the bigger the uh, corruption. So when it goes up, you actually get buffs. The first one isn't really a buff, it just means it has an infection, you can destroy it, otherwise you could easily get rid of it. The next one is uh, you actually get a 20% movement speed bonus to workers in the building. And the last one is a 25 cents of doubling the production. So it's sometimes it's very useful to just not burn them. How do you burn them, you you might ask? Well, that's... Uh, that's by doing building a blight wood post, which we need to do. So that's why I'm moving this one here. We're gonna want it right here near the uh, basically wherever I have in the industry, which will be probably in this this corner here. Uh, you want to have this thing so you can uh, they don't have to walk that fast. So what happens? Uh, what does this corruption do? Well, it corrupts your hearth. Beaver resolve is low. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Minus three. Do we want to do something about that? Because it will drop quicker. I think we kind of have to. I think we have to slow down the wood gathering a little bit here. This resolve drops really quick, as you can see. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, Blight Rot. Uh, once. Yeah. Depending on the Blight Rot, you get a uh, corruption per minute. And if this reaches 100, three random villages die. So. That's uh, yeah, that hurts. You don't lose the game immediately, but uh, <laughs> you guys will start dying. Then we're gonna get this one up. Also takes tool uh, parts, by the way, so another reason uh, we want this. Oh, we probably need to make something uh, trade goods. Okay, so we're back up. Let's see what we got here. Three grain per minute, or ten amber every time a village. Well, we don't want our villagers to die or leave, so we'll uh, assume they won't. <laughs> very, very brave of me. Um, I think we'll take this. The one extra beaver is uh, is good for the wood cutting, and this one can be if one of these things. But actually, like. The specialization in this way is just gives them comf a comfortable buff. So it's a little bit different. Like these these things you see here, the, it means that it's different. So this one just actually gives a production bonus. But if it's like glowy, it gives a, a resolve bonus. So the farms here get a production bonus, but I think if you if they're like brewing, they get a specialization like a comf comfortable buff. It's also. A, Yeah, we need to get this one as well at some point. But uh, oh, we have five. <laughs> it's getting there. Should we? Is there a point to trying to maybe get more of the incense trees down here? Or do we call it next trade at seven minutes? That's probably oh it's one now, huh. so that skills up as well. Alrighty then. Maybe we can do a different glade event. <laughs> <laughs> so we want one in here. I'm just gonna start with five. Uh, yeah, you can use the wood for it. It's very f uh, expensive wood wise. So. So as you can see, it also gets a five resolve here. So the warmth is purely uh, okay. It helps if we actually put something in the woodcutter camp. Okay. <laughs> okay. So one impatience. We lost all the non-existent amber we have. Okay, you can stop with the meat trees. Just completely work on the red trees here. 
we don't actually get this one right now because the thing is offset but doing next storm we can maybe do this event eight minute plus five yeah we won't make that we're gonna get the impatient points no matter what we do so we need to call this immediately sorry queen thanks for putting us our impatience back at two <laughs> which appreciate it I think the in having the incense is nice anyway okay you have this time you have tools good all right so we have a lot of planks planks not worth that much I need to be a little bit careful with what I uh, send over well herbs you can have all of them I think the herbs do much for us yet yeah we'll get some more tools I think Oh, we mm. wait a second. This one has the oil possibility. Yeah, oil is even better. Never mind that. You're gonna get me 30 oil, which is eight. That saves us the tools, basically. If I can make this work, yeah, I can with the with the herbs. Since we don't use herbs for anything yet, I, I'm, I'm comfortable doing this. Um, do I have something that's worth six? Oh, plant five or 14, okay. So that's 30 oil. Let's make sure it isn't accidentally burned here. And now we can work on this. Yeah. One of you. And I think one of the woodcutters can help out. We'll take this reward at three instants for every roots produce. It's gonna be good for next uh, the next forsaken crypt we're gonna find. Okay, so, so now we need to think about the next step here because we really want to open up a new glade. So you can move over here. You can start clearing this. A new order. Burn blight root cysts, or more glade events. Three caches though. That can only work if we. This is gonna happen anyway. This can only work if we get tools, but I think I kinda plan to get tools. Ooh, two root production. Yeah, it's, I like that better, even though the 26 resolvers are far way off. It's uh, gonna be doable. Uh, or you can move here as well and work towards this glade here. I want to get, I, I'm trying to get glades that that are relatively close to my warehouse. And, uh, we can make a path here. Well, this doesn't work because we can never get rid of the of, of the coal there. But this this is fine. We can already start opening caches here <laughs> if we want. We probably might need to. Well, we're not at level 3 hostility yet, though. Okay, so we don't get an extra impatient point. This doesn't do anything for us. Once again, we get, don't have amber, so we don't get any global resolve penalty here. It's a shame we didn't get it before we got out all these roots here. All right. Anyway, uh, provisioner. I want to start on that one too. I want to build that here, so the fire is going out. Well, then you start using the coal. So you don't lose immediately if the fire goes out. It's just uh, <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> so fortunately, we have to start using the coal because uh, we're using too much of this. Whoopsie. I think we're good with planks. So resolve was low, high hostility. I don't know what we can do about this. We don't have a complex food yet. Yet we're gonna get a little bit of resolve buff in a moment though. But I think we need to drop our resolve to one. 
Otherwise, we're just gonna lose everything. So you don't need to do anything yet. So uh, during the storm, the corruption doesn't grow. By the way, so there's no danger there. Oh wait, it is actually a little bit of danger. This, uh, you just idling there actually helps me with uh, resolve. <laughs> Alrighty then. We also need a few shelters, I think. I'll, buy, I'll build two here. Okay, ancient tablets done. Once again, we're gonna wait until after the storm. Then we'll uh, then we'll go hand it in, and then it's also time to open up the next glade. I'm already gonna give them the order to cut their way through the glades. Right, they. Ugh. This is really good. But the debuff to harvesting and planting is... Well, for now it's not that big, right? However, it's uh, gonna be big. So it's gonna have to be Blight Extractor, I think. The double wood production just completely removes all the problems you might have with this, but that means that the plan to use the fertile ground, which we should have a lot of, but... We haven't found much yet. <laughs> hmm. Oh, we had that one in. Let's get some more people too. This is two tools for th four guys, two, two. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's move. I'm gonna have to go nuts on this. Uh, you can move over here. I'm gonna put the provisioner over here. Yeah, two houses uh, should be enough. I'm uh, gonna see what's in here first, and then we'll decide on the uh, Chorn cornerstone. Okay, that event is done. Nice. Now we have 20 amber as well. We have a blueprint to pick. Biscuits, let's go. I'm gonna wanna have a little bit of priority here. This can be, can use, well, skewers can be made, sure, let's well, you can use all the resources here. These roots and herbs. Provisioner. We need some flour made here. Just use everything. A um, few barrels. Actually, we're going to put a limit of this on 20-ish. Don't need that yet. Pack of provisions, not yet. So, put two guys on this. As a lumber. Yeah, that's fine. We kind of need fabric too, so we'll put one of these on there. Don't need the bricks, but.